Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is a reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. This reading covers a period from December 26th when we have the new moon in Capricorn until January 24th when we have the new moon in Aquarius. This new moon um, has us appreciating all the good in the world and the importance of staying close to nature. So if you guys can get out, take a walk, go for a hike, go for a swim, whatever it is, get close to nature. And if you can, go barefoot. You'll find so much balance when you listen to your body and you follow your instincts. And when you feel really grounded and close to nature. The new moon in an earth sign will give you intense feelings for physical contact. So go ahead and cuddle up to the ones that you love, even if, they're, if, it, if it's your dog or your cat <laughs> or your bird even. Um, but both the sun and the moon are in Capricorn, so you'll be happiest when you have a dream in motion. Um, and, you know, you won't really enjoy any idle time. You're really going to want to see some progress here. Um, so Capricorn, let's go ahead and get to work. Set your intentions. Start anew with fresh goals in mind. Wipe the slate clean. And let's go ahead and get it done. This new moon also coincides with the solar eclipse. So people born with personal planets in the cardinal signs, Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn, will be mostly affected by these energies. I'm going to do a separate reading that covers the solar eclipse, so just keep an eye out for that. Um, I'm doing a new moon spread that's meant to identify your intentions for the upcoming cycle, um, show you what you need to learn in order to cultivate and eventually manifest them during the next full moon in Cancer on January 10th or by the next time, the next new moon in Aquarius on January 24th. All right, so while I'm doing this reading, I'm just going to ask that you guys go ahead and you give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, comment and share, hit that notification bell if you want to get any updates when I upload new information. But most of all, I just want to thank you guys for being here. I love you and you're amazing. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What information does Capricorn need to know? For this new moon in Capricorn reading, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What information does Capricorn need to know for this new moon in Capricorn reading? Okay, your overall message, your overall, overall message, the overall energy for this reading, Capricorn, is the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles is all about, um, it's about partnership. I love this. Um, it's all about making a decision. It's all about balance. It's all about finding balance. If you don't have a partner, and it doesn't have to be romantic, again, it could be, you know, a housemate, it could be a work partner, um, it could be a best friend, or it could be a lover, it could be you and your child, okay, so any sort of partnership, it's really, really important, important that you find balance. The Ten of Wands underneath that is showing me that, you know, something had to come to an end. Um, you need to find some sort of balance also in, at this, during the Sagittarius period, it was a really great time to cut out any excesses. So overeating, over drinking, over thinking, over social media-ing. Remember with this recent Gemini full moon, we are also getting overloads of information. Okay, so some of you might have been like gossiping too much or you might have been taking too many, too many people's opinions or ideas or et cetera to heart and that might have been really causing a bit of confusion and that's something that needs to be let go of. The King of Pentacles shows me there might have been a loss of some sort of financial security um, or it could be that you're feeling like, you know, maybe your finances or your health are a little bit at risk here because of that. And the Eight of Swords is like a lot of nervousness and anxiety, okay? But there's the Six of Pentacles, is which is all about balance, okay? But it is showing up in the reverse, so it's kind of like this Five of Pentacles energy, which is like feeling... Um, you know, a little bit, you know, like off kilter, worried about, you know, your financial stability or your health or, you know, your abundance coming to you. Now, Capricorn, where are you right now? This is beautiful. This is the King of Swords. The King of Swords is somebody who uses a lot of logic, reason, somebody who's very assertive and very ambitious. Sometimes he can be a little bit cruel, though, you know, especially if you're not on board or if somebody's not on board with you. That's very Capricornian for me because Capricorns, you guys work so hard. Um, and you guys can do things that a lot of other people can't. So it's also all about taking this time to maybe release some of the expectations, especially if people, 
especially people are different than you. Not everybody can deal with the stuff that you can deal with. Not everybody can do what you guys can do. Okay, so again, it's all about finding that balance, especially if you're in a partnership. Try to figure out what works best for both of you. But it's also all about bringing this balance back into your own life. Okay, making sure that you're not overextended in any area. I know that's an issue for my cappies out there. Make sure that you're not saying yes to too much and you've taken on too much so that it's negative affecting your health. The King of Swords, that's Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. You may have that in your chart or you may be exhibiting those qualities. Okay, and the King of Swords, he's very logical. He writes down the pros and cons. He can be very black and white, which is also for me very Capricornian. Um, you know, and he's somebody who's, you know, he's a born leader, he's a strong leader, and he's very just. He could be like a lawyer or a judge type person. Okay, but somebody, you know, who's very intellectual and somebody who's very, um, you know, somebody who's very intellectual and somebody who's very logical, uses reason a lot as well. So what's blocking you is the Ace of Cups in reverse. The Ace of Cups is all about love. It's a new blessing. It's a new love interest. Um, it could be a new relationship. But what I am getting here more than anything, it's not so much about love, but it's talking about that self-love. Because I'm really seeing Capricorn, you guys have been overextending, you guys have been doing too much. And as the sun moves into your sign, and as we have this new moon in your sign as well, you guys are going to be going full speed ahead. And Spirit is really saying, be very careful that this cup hasn't overturned, that you're not having a loss of energy, a loss of resources, okay, your physical health needs to be like, it needs to be like of utmost importance to you right now, because I do get that you're pushing, pushing, pushing so far, so hard, so fast, trying to get everything done, okay, that you're actually going to be shooting yourself in your, in the foot, so this cup coming up in the reverse is like you being completely drained emotionally and physically, mentally, okay, and maybe even spiritually as well. And so it's really important that you refill this cup. However you might do that, take some time off, take some time alone, go out, take a walk, go for a swim, get barefoot, okay, if it's not too cold for you guys. <laughs> All right, the intentions that you guys need to set is the emperor. This is awesome because this, this is you setting your boundaries. This is you making sure that, you know what, if people are asking too much of you, guess what, you have to say no. I can't do that right now. It's not good for me. You know, I normally always overextend. Right now, I'm not going to do that. That's going to bring you back into your power. So you guys should be setting the intentions, writing them down, speaking them out loud, that I'm going to figure out what's best for me, and I'm going to stay that course. Okay, because for me, this two of pentacles, this is all about balance. This can also be my side hustle card. Maybe you guys have too many jobs. Okay, maybe your partner is asking too much of you in a love relationship or, you know, in the work front or on a creative project. Or maybe you're just trying to do too much. Focus on what you can do and what you can do well. And then make a timeline. Okay, set an agenda. Okay, write down what, what's the, what, what are your priorities, what you can do now. And then you're going to find out some things just might have to fall by the wayside. But you are the most important here, Capricorn. And you've got to give yourself a break, a spa day, a massage, whatever it is that makes you feel at peace and calm and, and renewed. There, are, you have the Hierophant coming out, and what information do you need to cultivate your intentions? This is some sort of contract, okay? This could be a marriage. This could also be your spiritual journey. It could be also looking to spirit, okay, for some guidance. If you're feeling a little bit lost, if you're feeling like, I don't know how to pare down my responsibilities. I don't know how to, um, you know, to drop some of this weight that I'm carrying around. You know, I, I've been doing everything I can. I've been pushing even harder than ever, and I'm not seeing the results that I want to see. And this is like really, again, you know, so above, as above, so below. But I love this because he's really playing with a Ouija board, and that's like you getting in touch. Remember, you're not alone on this journey. So this could either be asking for help from somebody that you consider to be a spiritual advisor. It could be, you know, a therapist. It could be a yogi. It could be just any tourist person that's in your life. It could be a teacher or somebody that you consider a leader, somebody that you look up to, okay? That ask them for some advice and some for some help in order to gain this balance and how you can refill this cup, okay? The positive energy that's going to emerge during this phase, I love that this is the Five of Cups, okay? The Five of Cups is letting go of the disappointment. I know you guys are used to doing everything on your own. 
You guys are used to being able to handle everything. And guess what? It comes to a point where when we, when our cup is empty, we can't do anything for anybody else. So I like this because this is like dropping that emotional disappointment. This is, you know, the five of cups is on the way to the six of cups, which is balance, which is partnership, which is bringing yourself into, you know, this beautiful equilibrium where you can give again, but you can also have to open yourself up to receive. And so dropping this disappointment, okay, getting, look, there's a maze, go, I love that, there's a maze going on in his head, you know, it's like getting through that maze, working through that. For some of you, it is going to be talking to a therapist. For some of you, it's going to be talking to some sort of spiritual guide. For some of you, it's going to be listening to these readings, but really taking that time to figure out, okay, how you can restore the balance and let go of any disappointments. Maybe you, you know, maybe you said to 800 people that you could do 800 different things, and guess what? You can't. So you apologize. You figure out, you know, what you can do, and you drop what you can't. Or if it's not possible to drop what you can't, say, I can't do it now, but I will get to it, okay? And make yourself a plan, all right? Because I know my Cappies out there, you guys are planners, you guys are such hard workers. I don't wanna see you guys with this cup overturned. I want you to see this cup overflowing. You guys have so much to offer the world and your partners and your friends and your family, okay? So make sure that at this time that you're really taking care of yourself. All right, butterfly transformation is beautiful. That's 11, I love that. That's a card of balance. Really transforming your energy, you guys. Really turning this cup upside down. Again, we have one, one, one. Remember, ones are all about new phases, new beginnings, green lights from the universe. And I love that you're gonna really see, like you're gonna feel like this worm that's turned into a beautiful, beautiful butterfly coming out of their cocoon. Pig spirit, use your mind wisely. Very nice. Seven and four is 11, so we've got 11, 11, one. That's beautiful. For some of you, this is twin flame energy, um, but uh, for most of you, this is gonna be restoring the balance that's necessary in your life so you can refill that cup and you can be ready for ready to receive all of the abundance that's coming your way because Cappies, I know you guys have been working really hard. And as we go through this transition from Capricorn into Aquarius, all of you who have been sticking to your daily practice, who have been doing whatever it is you're doing, whether you're working on you know, um, you know, a new business, a YouTube channel, if you're working on a health regimen or routine or diet, and you haven't quite seen the results, you guys will see the results. Okay, so do employ, you know, do be patient, all right? Authority, this is that four card coming out. Look at that, we have the emperor coming out twice. You are very, very powerful beings. This is also coming out on top of the Hierophant card. Some of you might be teachers, some of you might be leaders. I feel like some of you also are going to be asked to be coaches, okay? But you have to really sort of get to a point where people are really looking up to you. And I'm not saying that people don't, but if your cup is not, if, if your cup is not overflowing, if your cup is depleted, that spirit says that cup has to be full before that happens. Again, this is consulting a higher authority. It could be praying. It could be asking your angels or your spirit guides for support and guidance at this time. It could be speaking to a therapist if you're having relationship troubles. It could be speaking to people that you look up to, okay? But again, this is you stepping into your power and and spirit wants you guys to step into your power and says that you very you will, but you need to restore balance first, okay? Really important. And then you have seven, stand your ground, okay? Again, some of you, other people are going to be putting pressures, outside pressures on you that aren't good for you. And you're going to have to tell them, excuse my language, but you're gonna tell them to piss off, okay? You're gonna have to do what's right for you. Even if you've overextended, you've overcommitted to some sort of situation, again, you go back, you apologize, you say, I can't do it when I said I could, too much is going on, but I can do it at this time, okay? Or, you know, simply, I can't do it. If it needs to be done, you have to find somebody else, okay? Because right now, I need to fill my own cup, all right? with all the sincerest apologies and move forward, okay? And don't feel disappointed. You know, that's a very powerful step to take. Exchanging gifts, two and seven, I love that. That's about this balance. Again, this might work, this might be speaking to some of you in a love relationship, you know, and this is restoring the balance in your partnership. You might have been doing too much. Your partner might not have been picking up their own slack. Your partner might have been, you know, might have been um, 
you, I don't know, like you've been doing everything. Maybe you've been overextending and they've been expecting too much of you or something like that. But then we see here this exchanging of gifts. We also have the holiday season coming up. So it really does speak to the beauty of, you know, giving and receiving. And I'm also getting Capricorn here again, the second time, the importance of you being open to receive, okay? That you don't have to just give, 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 okay? There's some feminine energy here, two and seven is a nine. So that's near completion also. And this is a very happy card, but I am getting a lot of divine feminine energy and the feminine receives, okay? So again, open yourself up to receiving, my dearest Capricorns. You deserve it. Freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. So right now, standing your ground, okay? Uh, standing in your authority or consulting someone is also going to give you that freedom. And you're going to just release it. Allow yourself to be happy. Do, do what's necessary, Capricorn, for you to refill that cup and to be happy. We've got another five coming out. Change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement, okay? So again, this is another five card coming out that things have to change in order to evolve, okay? You cannot stand still and expect change or evolution. Really nice reading, you guys. I really, really like this reading. You guys are going to be standing your ground, standing your power, okay? Because, you know, something has become just too much. And that's really, really nice. I mean, it's good energy, guys. Final message for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Final messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Fertility, Ostera. I love that. We've got this new moon coming up for our new moon reading. It's the perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas, and give birth to new conditions. Exactly what I've been telling you, you guys. And this is the new moon coming out. Capricorn for the new moon and Capricorn reading. I love how this resonates for you. Again, set those intentions, speak them out loud. Ask for help from friends, people that you respect, spiritual leaders if you have one. Um, you know, consulting these readings and all of the other amazing readers that are out there on YouTube. Um, talking to someone, you know, maybe a parent, a really a father figure, somebody that you really respect to sort of help you figure out how you can go forward and achieve this balance and refill that cup. Find your freedom and to change and to grow. You guys are awesome. I love you guys so much. Please give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Comment and share if and only if that's something that you like to do. Don't forget to hit that notification bell if you want to get updates when I upload new information. And I love you Capricorns. All right. I hope you enjoy this new moon in your sign.